everything you should do in life, you should, if, I mean, if you want to, you should use it as a, a stepping stone to do more things. Like, you know what I mean? You start one place, that don't mean that's exactly where you should finish. You know what I mean? I think um, music, fortunately, for us has, has been great and a beautiful thing. It's my art, it's my religion, it's my craft, it's the love of my life, you know, but it's also helped me get into other endeavors in my life and expand on other visions and other things I want to do. I think sky has to be the limit at some point in your life for yourself. And you can say, I could do more things. I want to do more things. And, you know, music has allowed us to do those things. Like it's been, it's been pretty cool. And I think far as health, I don't think with just music, I think just in general is as people, human beings, especially brown people with how the country's um, running, it's just important to stay on, on your, on your, um, you know, your one, two and take care of your family. It's a lot of bad things going on. We're dealing with pandemics. We're dealing with racism. We're dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. So just try to eat well, you know, stay mentally healthy as possible. Treat people kind. Hopefully they treat you back kind and um, keep it moving, you know? Nah, but yo, yo, he's being modest too, man, because these guys, these guys made juicing cool to do, man. You know what I mean? Like they made it cool to do in these hoods and these projects, dog. Come on now. How many people looked at these juices like they was nasty? They made it cool and it tastes good in these in these areas, dog. So that's extra cool. We working, man. We gotta push it forward. My last thing was doing an um, animated movie. And I got the lead role of the part on that first movie called Fearless. So that was really the last part of my bargain list into this voiceover thing. You know what I mean? So God is great. I got some more things coming in the near future from the voiceover side. I would say rock with your family. Rock with your family if you can. Do business with your family if you can. Um, you could start from one place or the bottom, but sky's the limit. Like, you know what I mean? And if you want to ask what we really learned, look at us today. We learned That's the totally. shitload. We, we, we learned enough to be doing this interview with you right now. We've made it through Bad Boy, Rough Riders, you know, three different errors in total, you know, and we're still here. So we, we've we learned a lot on uh, pretty much the whole journey, which is why the album is self-titled, Living Off Experience, because exactly. that's what we've been doing, you know? And ain't nothing you can't do, bro. Them, them guys, D&Y and this whole family, you know, they, they, they ain't know nothing about this music game. They came in Facts. and, you know, and got busy. Yeah. They went through, they navigated through, figured it out. Yeah. They enjoyed the set together. They enjoyed, you know, they went through hardships together. And at the end of the day, it was, it was a beautiful era in music. Out. And they made history. We That's made history. Yeah. Get the album. Support the album, please. Yeah, get that album, please. Yeah, that's what it's it is. It's fire. It's the shit. Absolutely. It's lit.